Hi, this is Bishwajit Maji, software engineer at MindFast Solutions. In this video, I am going to say about as ACID property of database transaction. So, ACID, ACID comes for A for atomicity, C for consistency, I for isolation, and D for durability. Atomicity is saying if a transaction starts, it will either complete the whole transaction or it will not do anything at all that mean the whole transaction will act like an atom consistency is saying database tr uh, before database transaction to after database transaction the database state can move from one consistent state to another consistent state Isolation is saying that even if there are two transactions simultaneously running, no transaction will be aware of the other, what the other transaction is doing. And durability is saying that if a transaction successfully done, then the effect will be permanent, not uh, temporary. So even if uh, uh, there are a system crash, that uh, transaction will will be permanent so I am mainly going to show about here atomicity and isolation property how it acts to do that what I am doing I am connecting to my local database server from two clients here you can see there are two ter terminal I have opened and from these two terminal I am going to connect my local database MySQL host local host username root okay <coughs> and here also connected now I am just checking what are the databases okay we are we will check using ABC database this one second one okay. here also now let's check uh, what are the tables in this database ABC Okay, we will we will work on user table, the last one. So we can see <coughs> there are four entries in user table, A, B, C, and G. And if we check it here also, we can see the same. Now I'm going to do. I'm going to start a transaction from two different clients I'm starting transaction here and also I'm starting transaction from this client okay and now first I'm checking about isolation property that each transaction will not be aware of the other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a value called J. This is a primary key null because the, uh, the the primary key here is auto in auto increment, and this is the age value third one. So I have inserted this value J. Now if we select it we can see chad is there inserted now in this transaction let's try to check what it is showing here we can see that chad is not there now let's try to insert one value from here suppose J and now if I select we can see 
in this transaction there is a entry of j but there is no entry of z but in this transaction there is entry of z but no entry of j so this is basically the isolation there are two transaction going on simultaneously but each one that mean this transaction don't know what is happening here and this transaction don't know what is happening here even if we can commit here suppose we are committing here this transaction you can see this j now if i try to select you can still see there is no j because this transaction is not completed so now if we roll back this transaction and try to select this we can see this entry this z is not here because we had rolled back so it rolled back to the previous stage before this entry that mean this one but since this has been committed this value j j so this is permanently reflected here this is basically the isolation property and yeah this is the isolation property and atomicity property is saying that now again if we try to start transaction and insert z here so now we couldn't commit now if my database somehow crash I'm trying to stop my database forcefully database server <coughs> okay this is showing error some code my sql server has gone away because server crashed or stopped whatever it is connection id this current database this now if we again start our database and come here and um, suppose commit this so we can see here we inserted this z but before commit database crashed so that has been rolled back even we are issuing a command commit but it couldn't be able to commit because the database had crashed so this is basically the atomicity property either it will do the whole thing or it will not at all do anything and durability property is saying it may happen after commit it went to a uh, disk write buffer and it sent this client that it has been committed and after that database server suppose operating uh, system crashed due to some reason maybe power failure or something else so since it was in write buffer it couldn't be write into that file system now after that if we connect to same database server it will not be reflected but database durability is saying this will never happen durability is saying it will permanently be written to disk space this is the four steps as it property in database hope you are enjoying thanks for watching